Hello everybody and welcome to part 11 of Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2. It's Hash Brown Gaming here and please don't forget to subscribe, feel free to leave a comment if you feel like it must be done and let's get straight into it. So I think in the previous episode, that's right, we rescued Michael from Strawberry, which I really did not want to do. I don't know, he just, he's so impulsive. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's so, he's so quick to the trigger that I feel like, ugh, I don't know, you just can't have, like, some good coming out of that guy. Like, there's no way you can, because he just, he just fires off at, like, the first sign of trouble. You know what I mean? Like, Dutch actually seems calculated, like, he's got a plan. Right? He's all like, oh, I've got a plan. The man with the plan. So I'm like, all right. But with Micah, he's just, he's so impulsive. And it's just, it's straight to it with that guy. You know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, we'll have to see what this episode has to offer. I think it was something about oil from memory. Oh, this is just casually leading across the, uh, <laughs> leading across the wall like a badass. Well, cool, everything's girl. above board here. Actually, you know what I will do? I might head into the stables. Because I do remember that um, we had some stuff to buy. Some stirrups and such. From memory? Hey there. What are you doing to that horse? It's starving. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. Wait, I have two horses? Yep, I need to uh, give you an upgrade. You know, when you saddle when you're using a cheaper saddle. Uh, nope, that's not true. That is a uh, that, that 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 is not true. <laughs> The horse can tell when you're using a cheap saddle. That's a good choice. The, wait. High quality. Oh, bro. Oh, I'm so pissed. Well, I screwed that up now. So when I come back, I'll uh, I'll fix that. Oh god, that's that's depressing. You know what? I have the money, so I'll just spend it. Want but the saddle that fits for you and the let horse. it be known that I did not want this. Yeah, I'll go for a black saddle. I reckon. Right? Should I go black, or is that original color good? I do like this color though on the horse. I do like it. Um. Oh, the blue looks nice. It's kind of blended in a little bit. That also looks nice, but so does that. And uh, I'm not too fond of this one, but hmm. You know what? I'll probably just go for black. Well worth the price. Well worth the price. Shut the fuck up. That's the same one I use too. Oh, of course it is. Oh, of course it is, isn't it? Now I don't want to go for complete black on this one. I'll probably go for a bit of a yeah, dark red. I feel. Weathered Walnut. I'm actually kind of liking that. That one's a bit too light for me. For my taste. That one looks good. That's a good choice. Let's go for that. High Thank you, sir. Alright, so what's the deal with stirrups? High quality stirrups increase your horse's speed and acceleration and provide a stamina drain rate reduction. That is something I'm very interested in. Oh yeah, that's a smart choice for your saddle. I'm gonna get pissed off if this dude keeps talking. It's well worth the price. Beautiful. Horns? What the fuck is a horn? Nah, that'll go real well with the saddle. Bruh. I did not know that this was a thing, but I'm keen to check him out. Okay. Ooh, like an eagle? I wonder if there's a snake. Because that's one I would definitely be interested in. It's like a cobra kind of thing. Oh, it's a duck bill, never mind. Eagle horn. There's the wide belly, 
By quality, keep it simple. You won't the go sidewinder. Oh yeah, I'm there digging that. I'm digging the sidewinder for sure. Now these, I think, is just visual from memory. Yep. Okay. Cool. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. That's just BS. You can't even see That's that. That's the same one I use too. And I think that one's that one's fine. Appearance. Got a fancy oh shit! I can change nice. these. What the hell? I had no idea you could do that. I sort of like the natural. Dreadlock! <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Oh, a mohawk. But to be perfectly honest with you, oh, I'm sort of digging its natural look. You know, like it looks like a horse. Like it. <laughs> like I'm scared to screw. <laughs> I'm sort of scared to screw around too much. Like, what the hell? Like, nah. I'm happy with it being a normal fucking hill, so uh, I'm I'm fine with this actually. I'm I'm definitely good here. Um, tech and services. Also, oh, this is the same stuff that we had a look at. What are the services? Horse care package. Anything sure. to keep the horses happy, right? Sure thing. Horse provisions. Um, hmm. yeah, I got a couple of these. Got to keep the beast happy. Sure. Okay. I think we're good. So we spend a lot there, but it is fine because I'm more than happy to keep robbing people and stealing money, and I think I'll be all right. Well, what's going on here? You pay up, and we keep up. It'll cost a sweet penny to get out of this, friend. All right, come on, guys. Let's you calm down here. You borrow from the boys. You pay the O'Driscoll mm -hmm. boys. Hey! I made this right damn with foolishness. You, well, then. What you staring at? I guess you Move forgot along. about the interest. You two can't win a fair fight, that it? Looks like you need a lesson. Damn O'Driscoll's. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus. O'Driscoll's gonna piss on your grave. <laughs> what? You want some? You damn old Driscoll's! Give, give me that! Give me that! Oh yeah! Knock the hat right off your thick head! Oh, the uppercut! Oh Jesus! Hold on. Give me that! Oh, that counter! Oh my God, that left hook! I'm telling you, others got a mean left hook. Keep trying. I'm telling you, these old Driscoll's, they've all got to go. Let me take that. Beautiful. No, I'm kind of nervous. Right, well, now that that's handled, we shall move on to our main mission of the day which is to um it, it was it was something to do with oil that's right pouring forth oil and the only detail is that john needs to speak to you so i'm excited for for this one that's for sure god i feel like every every time i pick up this game i'm always amazed by how there, difficult mister. it is like i'm always amazed now I don't know if you guys have played this game, but I played it a while ago. It's called Fable 2, right? I think in total there were three games, but Fable 2 was the one that I played. And in that game, the interactions were so limited. Like with every single person, they'd all say the same thing, and you and you'd always perform the same actions, such as farting in their faces or dancing with them or um, kissing them and all kinds of weird shit. But in this game, or, or in games like, you know, Skyrim, for instance, uh, and Skyrim's like one of my favorite games. It's a legendary game. And I just love how there's so many unique interactions, right? Like, exactly with this game, right? It's like when you talk to someone, you can expect them to say something unique. 
Right, the only thing I wish there was more of in this game is when you talk to just random people, I wish that they'd initiate more side quests, right? From sort of random people. Like if you say something, you feel like, hey, or if someone's walking and they're sort of looking down or whatever, then like they'll tell you about it. And maybe you could, you know, interact with them in some other way and it will lead to like, you know, s something bigger maybe, right? Like a bigger mission or something. Now with that being said, the interactions, side characters, and you know, that, that dynamic of this game is absolutely amazing, right? Like it's it's top level shit, but it definitely could have been even better. Hey, listen. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Do you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe just a little one. Great. So everything's Mr. Going McGuire okay. is back. Uncle so Sean is back. Let's have our And don't you apart. worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. Is you get a bump on the head? What the hell's going on here? Don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk. Well, I'll have a look at the. Okay. Right, so the okay, main mission's gone. Bag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest no game in the pot. Now, Dead Eye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. <laughs> The gang is celebrating the safe return of Sean and will be unavailable. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. Mr. McGuire. He's stupid. So, what now? Come on. Great stuff. How about a song? Listen, my friend. He's been. Right, well, I don't think there's too many interactive um, elements. There's bounty hunting, bounty hunting over there. There's a, uh, I think maybe some other stuff. There's the stable over there. There's Emerald Ranch. There is bounty hunting. I think I might have a crack at that, actually. See how that goes. You know the Louisville lady? I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Oh yeah, I'm enjoying it. Oh, I just don't need to fall over <laughs> drunk <laughs> yeah, with you. <laughs> Let's sing, shall we? Mark, well, what I need to say is she wants me to suffer a little all day. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark, well, what I do say she says just make me run Yes, he's definitely back. We needed a reason to celebrate. Right. Well, that's all fun and that's all great. But I think for now we'll probably uh go off to some bounty, I reckon. Yeah. See what kind of low life scum we can uh we can get our hands around. Cut through all the branches and fauna, fauna and flora. I mean, look, I have to say the the integration of those random elements, right? Of those um, stranger activities and such, it really elevates the game. I do have to yeah. say. See, now this is weird because John Marston. The icon just came back on the map. But the thing is, it was there before while I was. What the hell was that? 
What's a raccoon? Huh. That's interesting. Hey! Who's there? Arthur, you dumbass! You're back! <laughs> I just love how he says, Oh, but you dumbass! And then Charles like, Huh, you're back. Well, looks like the party's ended. For some weird reason. Hi, Mary Beth. Hey! Madam, you can do better than that. Didn't I say hello? No, I want to antagonize you further, but the game won't allow me, so we move on. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Let's see what's going on here. told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> you might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Okay. Right, well, I guess we're off to steal a wagon. Right. I don't want to play board games with you at the moment, sir. But I'm sure we'll get to it over time. Right. Let's get those wagons, shall we? Let's have a look at that and see how it pans out. What's this M? Mark a bell. Oh lord. Well first let's see if we can um figure this stuff out. And then we'll go from there. Wait, why did that not? Huh? There we go. Oh, I see. Because you press once in the map, it gets rid of your original um, marker. And then you press a second time, and then that's when... Right, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. God, I just love the visual um, dynamics. Between sort of day and night time. It's just, it's just done so well. Like, I mean, it really is. It's done remarkably well. God, this game is amazing. Right, I mean, it performs really well. Like, I don't think since I started playing it that I've noticed, you know, like a, a glitch even, or a, a single pixel that's hey, out of place. Whoa, easy. You gotta help me out here, mister. What the Can hell is this? Please! I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. Do I help out a prisoner? So, I'm, I'm guessing I've got to shoot it. Uh, let me get that aim right. Oh! 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 Oh, yes! Yes! Perfect! Ah, thank you. I don't know how I feel about I, this. 
I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Well, Ooh. I was stuck in line with this thief from up in the Grizzlies. Says there's a family up there, real strange, but rich. Loaded up, he said. Oh, yeah? Why'd Ooh. I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't just a hunt. Punch. Up to you, friend. Well, thanks for the tip. But now I'm gonna turn you in. That's what I'm gonna do. Why'd you unshackle me then? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know if this is the right thing pockets. to do, yes? What the hell? Right, let's go. He's got one cent. I actually wonder what will happen if, if we turn him in. Because I have heard that, um, like, you know, this game is super dynamic, so, like, if you have a prisoner or a robber Jesus. or someone who's done some wrong, you can actually turn them in for a reward. Well, that's what I've heard. So, let's see if the game is just as smart as I think it is. This is kind of strange because I was expecting him to to actually say something, but he's being awfully quiet, which I don't quite understand. Because usually he'd be like, "Oh, let me out! Oh, I've got a family. I've got two little daughters. You know, I don't know something." But look at how quiet he is. He's not saying anything. It's a bit odd. Oh, it's 2 a.m. I don't know if the jail will be open, but. Investigating? I have a bloody witness! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, then I guess I'll just kill him. This is over! Well, that did not work at all like how I thought it would. So, um, we're gonna get the hell out of there. Yep. And hopefully, we can carry on um, our search to these wagons, because that's what I'm interested in at the moment. That definitely did not go how I expected, that's for sure. So we're going to capture the oil wagons. Well, I am keen for that. So I'm guessing John's plan is just, yeah, to have something flammable so that the train drivers get scared. And they're like, oh, we need to stop this train because there's no way it's going to be robbed. And then myself and the gang of outlaws are going to come in and, and just rob all those witch folk. Take all those Gucci boots and jewelry ridden watches. Sounds like a plan to me. So right now we're here. I should probably equip a mask. And we need to steal a wagon? 
Is that what's happening? Oh, so we gotta get it straight from there. Oh, I see. Alright, well... Hopefully we can just climb... I mean, I'm guessing we just take it a dip, right? did something, I'm not too sure exactly what I did, but it was something. Oh my god, I'm going through the whole bloody camp! Oh, it's gonna blow up, it's gonna blow up, is it not? It's gonna blow up, it's gonna blow up, I'm gone, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. That was the worst plan of all time. I took the oil wagon and just drove straight through their camp. <laughs> that is the worst getaway plan. Ever. But now that we've got it, I reckon we'll go straight, yep, straight there, and we should be good. Oh, I've got my horse with me. Oh, Jesus. That's what I don't want. following me and as long as I keep using these these tonics I think I should be good let me get my satchel out make sure that I keep my cores up my cores are nice and full because if I have empty cores that's gonna be a problem But as long as a... Uh, yeah, I mean, I should be fine. The only thing I was scared about was all the gunfire was gonna cause um, the oil container to explode. Because if that happened, I'd be in real trouble. But I think... Yeah, smooth sailing. It should be alright, but that was the worst... Worst getaway plan ever. Worst getaway plan that I've probably ever heard of. Done. It was truly awful, that was terrible. So But it seems like the stars have a line and we were We were and we were able to get away. We got away unscathed, god damn it. Right, well, that's done, which is great news. Now, what I think I'll do actually is I'll have a look at that home um, robbery tip that lad gave me. That's not it. Do we have an index or such? There we go. Home robbery, home robbery, home robbery. Oh, so you have to go as soon as it's reported. I see. Okay. Right, well, lesson learned. Ah! 
Hey, partner. Hi. Well, he said nothing to me. Okay, he said hi. Right, so we could either go to John Marston and continue with that, or we could, uh, Head to Black Bale. Why don't I actually do that? My head down to Black Bale over there. Now I heard some gunfire over here, so I've got to be careful. Arm oh, myself. Easy. Whoa. Hey. Best you keep moving. Don't tell me it's the O'Driscolls. Don't tell me it's the O'Driscolls. You must be dumb as dumb. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt. Don't tell me it's the O'Driscolls. You want the devil then? Fine. Okay. These people. Not our Driscolls. William, I'm writing to let you know that our raids against the Jayhawkers and Lawrence have been successful. There are many times since we set out on this campaign that I doubted there was a god who loved us, but today I have a glimmer of hope. That they call us Lemoyne Le Raiders, Bushwhackers, and Border Ruffians. Does not diminish our fight for a free state and to be free from the incursions of northerners set and changing our way of life. Or oh, set on! Looks like an Anne. I hope you will continue to work to recruit more young men to our cause here in Le Moyne. We will ride through their ranks and smite down the op oppressors. History is not over and shall be rewritten. It is always darkest before dawn. Sincerely, William Marcus Anderson. Well, that's something. Search these saddlebags when the horses are dead. Because it's practically impossible when they're alive. Yeah. Right, let's keep carrying on, shall we? Hunting animals and such. Right, let's head down to, uh, let's find Black Bell. Is her name? See what she's up to, what she's got going on. Yeah. Ooh, this seems like a bit of a different part of town. Yeah, it, it, it's sort of a different part of the city. Not one I'm too familiar with. Interesting. Ooh, there's like a river here. That's that's quite that's quite interesting. Yep. Huh. Whoa, this is like a like a swamp, like a marshland kind of. Definitely a different area than what I'm used to, that's for sure. Um Oh shit, okay. alligators! Oh they've got alligators in this hey, game, that is sick! I should wonder if they like. Oh. Oh. The strongest bite force on. What the? What the hell? Oh, come on. Man. 
Can't have that. What if I shoot the shot? I just wonder how close I can get. Oh! 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 Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Well, I suppose that's how close I can get. Alright. Um. Well, there you go. Right, guys. Well, that's the end of part 11. In the next part, we'll be exploring, um... Black Bell, who's a gunslinger, and hopefully we'll get to um, have a cool gun shootout with her. But as for part 11, well, that's the end of part 11. This has been your boy Hash Brown Gaming here, signing off. See you guys in part 12. See you guys in the next one.